Hey, I'm Mike with BrandonBoss.com and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your email marketing automation and system IO. So stay right there. All right. So when you actually log into your system account, this is the first place you're going to go. So to go ahead and get started with your email marketing, there's one thing you want to do first before you start crafting any emails or setting up any automation or anything like that is you want to go over to your profile and go to settings. From here, you're going to scroll way down to the mailing settings and you want to verify your domain name. It is best if you do this with a domain name, unless you have a SendGrid API account. Um, but if you don't have that, verify your domain name and the DNS settings and things like that. This will show you how to do it. Uh, once you do this, your emails will actually start to go through because if you don't do it, you'll send emails, but your audience won't receive them. So they'll kind of block your email. So you want to verify this area first. Now, once you've done that, we can go ahead and start creating some emails. So after that, you're going to go to your email section. And obviously you can create a newsletter if you want, but we're going to actually do a campaign. So this is one way you can actually do a campaign. I already have an example one right here. So we'll click that and I've already crafted five different emails here. Very simple, very, very simple, easy to do. Okay. But I want to do this in a automated or automated type of way. So what we're actually going to do is go to automations and go to workflows and we're going to go to this existing one right here um, i don't really have anything on it but we're going to go ahead and start from scratch so right here you're going to create your first trigger you'll click on that and what you'll do is this is what you want to happen you want your email automation series to start when a certain action happens so we will do a funnel from subscribe. So when anybody actually inputs their email address into my landing page, then that's when the email automation will begin. So we'll just select it from step one. That's step one uh, in my uh, funnel step. This is my landing page. So we'll go ahead and create that. So now that that's created, we got we got to go ahead and decide on an action. What do we want to happen? Want to happen once somebody has subscribed to our um, opt-in page. So we'll choose the action, and what we'll do is we can either subscribe them to the campaign that I just showed you. And I'm going to do that really quick, just so you can see what that looks like. If you've already created your campaign, you just select the campaign, and boom it'll go to that and it'll start that email sequence. But let's break it down even simpler. So let's X that. And instead, we're going to choose to send an email so that we can do everything right from this page right here. So since I don't have an email already, we're just going to create one real quick. So we'll go ahead and write the subject line. This will be your welcome email. And we'll save and edit it. Now I'm not going to go through the process of actually building out an email. You can craft out your email once you get to this point. So this will just be a test. So this will be a test email. And then you want to go over to these settings right here. Make sure you have your sender name, Mike, which is me, and the email address that you want your uh, audience to see who it's coming from. And this is the domain that I actually verified um, uh, earlier when I showed you in the settings. So you want to make sure this information is filled out. If you have any attachments that you want to add, say a, a PDF or uh, anything like that, maybe it was a freebie, you can add your attachments here. But after you've done that, you just save it. And boom. So as soon as somebody subscribes to our email list, the welcome email will go out. So we want to see what happens next. 
So what you want to do is typically you're going to go ahead and delay. So we'll put a delay period of one day and then we'll have another email sent out. So you'll just repeat the process. We'll create a new one and we will put day two. Now obviously you can edit this out to however you need to, but just for simplicity and demonstrator purposes, we'll name it day two. We'll put test in the body, verify that all this is good and then save. And then guess what? You repeat the process. You can delay it another day or maybe delay your next email by two days. It doesn't really matter. It's really up to you on how often you want your emails to go out. And then you go ahead and hit action and create a new email. And what we'll do is name this a, uh, we'll just put day three and we'll just throw a, a regular subject line, um, an offer. This could be an offer email. So obviously you're going to change the subject line of, of, of your email, but we just rinse, repeat, verify all this is good and save. It's that simple. And then if you, after they have received that email, you can put a different action to maybe, uh, let's see, let's see if they have an ability to add them to a list or something. I don't see that ability right now, but you can keep this sequence going for as long as possible. And let's say, for example, you only have a limited amount of emails, but you want to continue to add to this list. What you can do is so therefore you can continue to do an ongoing process of building out your emails. What I'll go ahead and do is is put a, de a delay of 100 days. So after they receive their last email, they'll wait 100 days before they receive something else. So the purpose of putting this here is to give you enough time to continue to create emails for your list. And so therefore, once you've added a new email, you can come back and you can change this to one day and then the next email will go. So I'll show you for as an example. So what we'll do is We'll go to send the email. We're just gonna rinse and repeat. Put this day four, save. We'll put test, everything is good here. We'll save that. So now that I have a new email, I can go back here and I'll just edit that real quick. So now, it'll just shoot off the next email to them. And then I'll just go ahead and put a new delay right here. Let's see if it will go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Had to catch up. All right, so therefore I just put another a 100 day time block right here just to give me more time to craft more emails and to continue my email list. And this is what you call a workflow. This is very basic, but it gets the job done. So this is another way that you can go ahead and set up your email campaign. You can set up your campaign how I showed you earlier, just crafting out your emails one by one and calling it a campaign. So what I'll do is to show you that is I'll just do an action. It'll just subscribe them to my campaign right here. Bam. So if you already have a campaign created, you can do it that way, or you can just craft out your emails one by one within your automation workflow. And once you're finished with that, all you have to do is exit. And if you want to activate this workflow, you have to come over here to this little green check mark and click that and confirm it. Once it's confirmed, this will change from yellow to green. And now this workflow right here is activated. 
And it's that simple. So tell me, how easy was that? If you haven't signed up for your free system account, there's a link in the description below. Go ahead and sign up, create your free account, and get to your email marketing. And if you like this video, give it a like. And if you like this type of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm Michael Brandon Boss, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.